Welcome to my tutorial on installing NetBeans 7.3 to run Java applications. If you don't already have the Java development kit installed on your system, I'll put up an annotation so you can follow my tutorial on setting up Java because NetBeans won't actually let you install it until you have Java set up. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is open up a browser. We're going to do a search for NetBeans. Should be the first link, so we'll click it. There should be a download link up here in the upper right hand corner. Select download. And up here you'll select your language and your platform. and I'm just going to select the download that comes with everything because you can always turn things off inside NetBeans. So we'll select download. Save file. And this may take a couple minutes to download if you selected the all version. Okay, and now that it finished downloading, we'll go to here, go to downloads, and we'll double click on the executable. And I believe if you don't have Java on your system, it wouldn't have let you get this far. So we'll select next. Uh, you can read this and then accept the license agreement. Next except the license agreement for JUnit, which is actually a very good testing suite. Uh, I'm going to leave it with the default spots it wants to install it. And here's where you select your JDK. It found mine. Select Next. We'll leave that. Uh, we're not going to check for updates right now. And we'll select Install. And this will probably take a couple minutes to finish. Okay, and now that it finished installing everything, uh, sure, I'll help them. We'll click finish. And my antivirus apparently doesn't like them. So I'll click exit, exit that. And now they'll probably place the desktop icon. So we'll go ahead and just double click on that. there we go we have NetBeans set up so I guess I can show you how to make a project just to show you that everything's working so to do that we're gonna click file new project select Java Java application select next uh, test and you can select where you want to save it. I'm just going to let it save it where the default setting is. And we'll click finish. So now it's created a, everything for us to get started. So we can test it out. We can do a system.out.println. Do hello world. And then you can just run it just by clicking this, and it should build it for you and everything. And there we go, it says hello world. So you have your project over here, your JDK library right here, and here's all your source files where you can create new packages, and adding a new class file is just as easy as right clicking here, new, Java class, name your class, I'll name mine new class, and boom, you have a new class. So now you're ready to write and develop your own Java applications. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and good luck in your NetBeans programming.